Hey, I'm Steven Kolchitsky, creator of Galicia Archives. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find different types of documents and records using the Genealogia of Archiva website. Now, if you find this video helpful, you know how to support the channel. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so to start, let's go to the website genealogiavarchiva.pl as it's written up here in the address bar, or click on the link that I left for you in the details section below the video. Now, once you get to this site, first thing you want to do is click on Rozpocznij przeglądanie dokumentów, and it will bring you to this site, but in Polish. So to put it in English, click up here on the British flag. It brings you back to the welcome page. Click on start browsing, and here we go. Now to go over this website in detail, let's start with these icons here on the top right hand side. The first one, Wiki. As you see here, it's written recent entries, but it's usually empty. Then we have easy access, that's for folks with visual disabilities. Here we could change the text size or the colors. So for text size, if you look here underneath pick size text, the word example and text. Well, if I put this on medium, it gets a little bigger and huge, it gets even bigger. And as for the colors, well, if I click on invert colors, well, this is the view we get. So if I close this, this is what the website looks like, which might be more pleasing for folks who have a hard time seeing. So to put it back, easy access, click on standard, standard colors, close this, and there we go. Next, we have ranks. That's a list of the top 100 indexers. So here we have the first and last names, the number of indexes done. And here we have a button show on the right hand side. If we click on that, it brings us to that specific list of indexes and each index has a show button on the right hand side. So if we click on that, it brings us to that specific index. So let's get out of here, close this. And at any time to go back to the main page, we just click here on genealogy in archive. And there we go. Then register. Well, that's if you want to create an account and sign in. Well, that's if you already have an account. Then when I go down a little, we have all the updated numbers on what this database contains. And below that, we have three more icons. One is user ranks, which is pretty much the same as up here. And if I hover my cursor over it, it even shows you let you browse top 100 users by index number. Then we have a guidebook. And if we click on that, it opens up a PDF document in a second tab, which is a guidebook on how to use this site. The only thing is it's in Polish. Then the third icon over here, user manual for people. It's kind of like a more advanced user manual for this site to do stuff like indexing, for example, or adding persons and so on. And now to do research, well, here we have a search bar. So in the first part, we could put the name of the place or person. In the second part here, where it's written everywhere, we could select which of four categories that we want to search in, or we could just leave it at everywhere to search in all categories. And these four categories basically represent these four icons here. Units being browse collected resources, indexes, scans being the third one, browse indexes, persons, well, that's the last one here, and archive teams, which should actually be fonts, is the second one. Then we could put a village name if we know one. We could just select through the list and click on it, or we could just type. And to do an advanced search, we click here and we could put the last name, first name, type of scan that we're looking for, if it's a birth, death or marriage, and the type of person, child, mother, father, bride, and so on. Now to look over these four icons over here in the first one, when we put our cursor over it, it's written, let's you browse all collected resources. So let's take a look at that. Now here we have a list of archival units or 
books, basically record books. Each square represents a different record book. The way that it's laid out, it's in tile mode. If we want to change that, we could click up here on options and we click on the second one since the first one is the present mode. And we have our list mode. If I go back up here, I put it back to tile. And if I click on the third one, show thumbnails, it shows you a picture of what's inside each record book. Then if I want to show suggestions, I could click here. And if I want to sort out these records in a specific order, well, you go to sort. And these are all the different orders that you could put them in. But for the sake of this video, I'll leave this as is. Publication date descending. I'll take this off and I'll leave it in tile mode, which is the default. Okay, so let's take a look at one of these books. Here on top, that's the archival number. On the top right hand side, that's the number of pages. Here we have in the middle all the information on this book. So we have the town, community, voyevodship, and so on. Here, theme, that should actually be font, as I said before. So this is the font title. Here we have the archive that it's at. Category, well, that'll usually tell you if it's a birth, marriage, death record, and so on. And here at the bottom, well, we have the publication date. And as you see, well, it's the book that was most recently published. Now here on the top left hand side, we have a little booklet icon. If I click on that, it brings me to that book or scan, but in the same tab. Now, if I go back and I click on this little downward arrow, if I click on the second option, informations about archive font, it gives me that information. But if I click on the first one, open scan preview in new tab, it brings me to that book, but in a second tab. So now I could switch back and forth if I want to go through two or three books at the same time. Now, while we're here, let's take a look at this viewer. Here we have the archival number and in brackets, the page number that we're on as we see over here. So if I go to the next picture, it shows you that we're at page 241 here and here. Now to go to the first page, well, here on the left table of contents, you click on zero and it brings you to the book's cover page. And while we're here, if we click on this little picture icon over here, it gives you a little miniature picture in each icon on what that record looks like. And if we click here on search results, well, I have the option of going through different books down here. So if I click on one of these, for example, it brings us to another book. So let's go back to our first book, close this. And if you see up here, there's a second tab indexes in unit. Well, if indexes had been done on that page, we would see a list of those indexes that were done. Now here we have a few pictograms In the first one we're set at information. So here we have archive again, fond, and we have all the information. Then we have comments. If some were left, well, they would appear here. Then here we have a little double page symbol. Well, that's for indexes. So if you'd have a number, well, that would represent the number of indexes that were done. Then we have a little person's symbol. Well, if someone was assigned to this record, that person's name would be here. Then we have user activity and we have the option to download. So if we click on that and we click on the first one, because in my case, I can't click on the second one, click on I'm not a robot, download register. Download has been registered. You close that and you click on download. And as you see up here, my record got downloaded. You see it's the same number as here and it'll show up in the downloads folder of your computer. If I click on that, it shows me my record. Okay. Now let's get out of here. 
close this and let's take a look on the left hand side we have a whole bunch of options to narrow our search so if we want to set a specific date we could click here and it shows us the number of pages that have a span covering this specific date in this case 1586 now if you want to put from a certain year to a certain year well you could go up here and you could do that which by the way here in blue on top this is your search bar again so it's pretty much the same search bar as the main page had only that it's set to units which is this category so again you could just go ahead and put only a year range and it'll give you the results of that year range now back to date if i were to click on for example 1590 it shows me 225 here and brings me to a record with 225 pages now keep one thing in mind this does not mean 225 pages of 1590 no 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 if i scroll down look here at the date range 1586 to 1939 so you might only have even one record with this year in it but the browser counts this entire page number over here and now if we were to go to a different year for example 1598 it still has 225 because this year is still covered in this specific record so i'm going to close this and let's take a look at more of these years now as i scroll down you'll see the first years are always in 225 and when i get to 1614 now we just jump to 764 if i click on that now we see our first record with 225 pages but now a second record with this amount of pages got added to it so if we do the sum of these two page numbers it'll give us this page number but again as i said not all these pages have 1614 in them now notice one more thing if i were to put the year for example 1690 enter notice that voivod chip just went black and as we're going to go through these you're going to notice more of them get black because for this year there's only one voivod chip which is kuyavsko pomorskie so when it turns black it means you have only one choice and you could even see it for each record it's the same voivod chip for each one of them now let me close this date and if i go to voivod chip we see we have four choices now if i were to click on pomorskie here you'll notice they're all from pomorskie and it also highlights in blue so what we put here you'll notice in the boxes are blue also make note that up here whatever we add in these tabs will be added up here and if we want to close it well we don't have to close it only here we could also click on this little x here and it takes us out of that choice so let's go back to pomorskia and notice pomorskia has 164,425 pages if i were to go to town well you see for each town we have a certain number of pages so if i were to click on angovice now you notice a whole bunch of tabs turned to black because now for example community hoinitsa only one choice then if we go archive well only one choice act kind civil state records only one choice team or font only one choice and also up here well angovice highlights in blue and it's all records that are both pomorskie and angovice so now let's get out of these two choices and notice that valid and own they're always on so you just leave that you don't touch that now next if we go to community well we have our different communities archive we have four archives here to choose from category well here we have marriages births marriage bands death records cemeteries and so on then we have team or font and we have the different fonts 
we could always click on this little downward arrow to go through them then indexes we could choose what type of indexes we want to look for in here and if we want something that was recently added we click here and if we knew the archival number we could come here and we could put its code here or click on the downward arrow and we could look in this list okay and now if we were to go down here we see load more results well if we keep going through results we have one tile that'll open blue and that's kind of like a page separator so as we'll go down load more results and again a page separator okay so let's go back to the main page and let's take a look at browse themes or fonts now this by default is in list mode so i'll leave it as such here we have a list of fonts but keep in mind these are not necessarily online records these are just what fonts are aware so to narrow our choices if we want to look for a specific archive we could click here we could click on agad which has 20 results again notice here that the agad highlights in blue and these are all the 20 results now notice one more thing when i go back here notice each archive has a number before well that's its archive number so agad is actually archive number one archive one points for stoku well that's archive number four and so on and so forth so i'll put back agad and notice here we have one slash 420 slash zero the first number that represents our archive number so in this case one agad then 420 well that's the font number and as i showed you in my shukai varhiva video they have a good explanation on how to read archival numbers so you might want to take a look at that now if we select a town it gives us the results that are within this archive choice so for the fun of it let's look at alexandria and you notice the faith religion automatically turns black so there's only one choice roman catholic and the type of act we could choose between marriage birth and death but they all come to the same result and if you notice here one four thirty six zero and the title of that font well if i were to go to the agad website if i go to 436 they actually have it here too so it's actually online okay let's look at one more example if i choose archivum points of chance we'll have 153 results and i could go straight to religion and if i choose for example jewish it'll give me 14 results that are jewish within this archive and again i could choose what type of record so let's say i want to look at weddings 14 results and it just minimizes my choice of towns and there you go okay let's go back to the main page and let's take a look at browse indexes again if we want to search for certain indexes well we could minimize using these tabs on the left the display is pretty much similar like we saw before and here we have a double page with a number and if we click on that and open the scan in a second tab it brings us to that index or those indexes now notice here in the middle i should have went over this before launch zooming if you were to click on that it opens the possibility of zooming which you could do with the little wheel on your mouse or if you're using a tablet or a touch screen you could just put your two fingers and separate them one from the other or bring them closer if i go into one specific corner well here we see a red square that shows us where we're highlighted and one last thing here if i click on the indexes here we have a little pull down bar we click there 
and it shows us the two couples that were indexed. Now keep one thing in mind, you'll see this often enough, we're on page 58, there are two indexes, but on this page, you'll see only one couple, you're gonna see Leon and Helena. Leon here, and Helena down here. But the other couple, if you go to the next page, this is where you'll find them. Here you'll have Jan and Tekla. So the index won't necessarily be here. It'll be put on the evenly numbered page. Jan and Tekla. Now up here we have a little flag localization. If we click on that, we have a Polish translation of what the typing on this page, which is in German, actually means. And here indexes in unit. It shows us all the indexes that are in this book or unit. Now also notice here on the bottom right hand side, we have information on these folks. So you might want to take a look at that too. And that's pretty much it. So let's get out of here. And let me just make one little note. You see up here, this is our 58. So this is our page number and you notice how they're even numbers. So these two are on page 58 and 59. These two are on page 56 and 57. If I go here real quick, you see we're on page 56. If I click here, we see Czesław and Aniela. So here on page 56 is Czesław and Aniela. And Andrzej and Agnieszka, you'll find them here on page 57. Okay, let's go back to the main page. And finally, let's go to browse people. And here we'll find a list of people entered into the system set in order with the most recently published. If we click on the little person icon here, it brings us to a page like this with the information up here. Here we have the record that this person is on, which we could go to by clicking here on show. And here you'll see one person was indexed and here where it's number two, these are the two people that are associated with this record. Now, if we go back to our information page, here if we click on associated scans, we have that, then relations tree, and associated persons, we would have those folks here. And to minimize your search or to narrow your search, well, you could put in the information here, like we have in the other sections. And that, my friends, is pretty much how to use this website. Well, I hope this video was helpful. I hope it gave you a better understanding of this website. And most of all, I hope it helps you find somebody. If it did, please let me know in the comments section below. With that being said, please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.